Yeah, yeah it's hurt itself. Can you help it? Oh. How did you do that? Oh my god. I just need to pull it out. What is it called, Tim? It's been tied. Oh. Some sort of plastic. We've found a sparrow in our hedge. There's still a bit more here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's like wrapped right around her foot really tightly. If you just move her three toes, yeah. So is it on the back toes? The toe that points Yeah, backwards? the back. The oh my God, yes, 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 yes. Pull it towards oh, you. Yeah. With the last knot cut, there we go. Bella, whose eyesight's slightly better than mine, is removing the embedded cord with tweezers. My hand's shaking. There you go. All three. And now we'll treat the wounds. Obviously, this has been incredibly stressful. So we'll put her in a quiet, dark place, let her rest for a couple of hours, and then see how she's doing. My next worry is whether she'll take food. But it seems my daughter has got this covered. She's just decided she's so hungry. And then an hour later, she starts to feed herself. This is fantastic progress. Now hopefully, she'll make it through the night. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. Our rescue house sparrow is making amazing progress. She's feeding both with help and by herself. And I had planned to set up some kind of controlled environment to see how well she could fly and how well she can perch with her poorly leg. But such a test won't be necessary after she escaped this morning. It took me the best part of half an hour to catch her while hopping's a little clumsy. Her flight's perfect and she can land fairly well. Her cuts are healing nicely. She can hear the other sparrows calling outside and she's desperate to join them. Ideally, I'd like to keep her for another 24 hours, but I fear if I do that, she'll beat herself up trying to escape. Not sure what to do now, are you? Oh, there she goes. Oh, look at that. 